Three wins from three, Jill. Got to be happy with that. Well, you know what they say, the best things come in threes. That's true. One. Two. Three. This is Lionesses Down Under, connected by E. Hello and welcome back to Lionesses Down Under, connected by EE. I'm back safe and sound. I'm so happy you're back. I was looking around for you yesterday. You were hundreds of miles away, Jill, but it's good to have you back in the studio. It's nice to be reunited. Know, and I look know. who I brought with me, Neve Charles. How are you feeling, Neve? Very well, thank you. Good, How are you good. guys? Oh, can't complain. Back in the studio, it's not just me on my own now, so we get to have some fun <laughs> in here, and we'll definitely be doing that with you a little bit later on. We've got plenty of questions, but if you want to get in touch, you can do that, all right? Use the hashtag Lionesses down under. Any messages of support, any questions for Neve, or if you just want to say how good it is that we're all back in the studio, <laughs> please let us know. Use that hashtag. Neve, you made your first appearance in a major tournament, 6-1 win. I was there, I was looking at your family as you came on. I could see how proud they were. How was it for you? Yeah, it was unbelievable. Um, it was so special that they were in the crowd as well. And yeah, we couldn't have asked for a much better day, to be honest. Yeah. Definitely. And obviously, being able to see them after the game. I love this picture, oh, by no, the way. What a picture. A that. <laughs> Concentration face, all right. Uh, I mean... What an incredible achievement for yourself, but what about for everyone back home? Because they're all waking up, they're watching you. Have you managed to speak to them and actually see how they're feeling, how proud they are back home as well? Yeah, well, we have like an extended family group chat and I think it was, yeah, it was really nice to read all their messages. They're doing separate things, watching it in different places and yeah, they were all so happy. So it's nice to see, yeah, what they were doing while it was on. Oh, and we've got to give a special mention to Lauren James. I think you can give us a little bit more of an insight, obviously, being a Chelsea teammate. Yeah. What's it like training with her on a day-to-day -day basis? And I'm, I suppose you're definitely not surprised at how she's been performing in this World Cup. No, I think it's not a surprise to me at all, but it's also so nice for me to see that on the world stage, everyone's seeing it now, because I do see it day in, day out in training. So, yeah, nothing from the other day shocked me, but, yeah, it's so nice to watch and yeah she deserves everything and yeah she's we're very lucky to have her yeah. definitely but also the whole team have been amazing so far through to the uh, round of 16 the business end of the tournament england play nigeria um, on monday i mean training is definitely uh, hard what a finish this is by the way uh, how much confidence does three wins in a row give you going into that game yeah, I think it's it's all about momentum as well. And I think, oh, that was me hiding from the sun. <laughs> no, you were getting a massage, but that couldn't have been relaxing off Millie Bright. No, it's never from her. But yeah, I think the momentum we've got is really good. And God, I'm just watching myself now. Um, great finishes, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> celebration there. I want to see if you score in a game. What do you, you see you do that Me and Kimi actually did that the other night as well. Someone caught it on camera after Lauren scored. Um, <laughs> The chest bump came out again, but yeah, we've got some really good momentum now and hopefully that can continue for the rest of the tournament. Um, but yeah, started really well, couldn't have asked for more really. It's so important though to celebrate them little moments in training. You work so hard, so then when you do have them little goals and little yeah. skills, I think it's so important. But obviously the other night we're seeing Serena switch it up a little bit mm. with the tactics. Um, as a fullback, do you like that role more, having a little bit more freedom? Um, I don't, I don't know. I think it depends how the game goes, whether I think you can, as long as you're quite attacking with it, I think it's a really nice position to play. You can sort of get up and get down and like you're involved in a lot. Um, so, yeah. yeah, I really like it. Not to say I don't like playing as a fullback as well, but yeah, it is nice to have that little bit of freedom and getting in the box at one end and at the other end. It's It makes the game fun, I think. You love all that running. <laughs> yeah, I actually do. <laughs> it's a lot of once, running. Yeah, once I get past the first bit, you do get used to just getting in and out. But it is like, get up in the box. If you're not in the box, where are you? Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, if you're not yeah. in the other box, where are you? <laughs> Definitely. And I guess that everyone back home as well has enjoyed watching it. But if you are at home and this uh, summer of football has got you excited, you've not got to travel all the way to Australia to come and see the Lionesses. Why is that? Well, Jill, we're going to your back garden, aren't we? Oh, yes. England mm. versus Scotland at the Stadium of Light. Are you going, Kyle? Oh, 100%. I'll be there. 100%. I'll be there. So whether you've been supporting the Lionesses all your life, whether you want to go to a game for the first time, this is where you fall in love with them. At the Stadium of Light, 22nd of September, 
get your tickets and come along. It's going to be a great atmosphere and I can definitely guarantee that. Yeah, we'll both be there and you can head to the fa.com forward slash tickets. The details are on the screen right now, okay? So make sure you go there and I can't wait to see everyone up in Sunderland. The weather might be a little bit different to uh, Australia, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to seeing the Lionesses play just there. But Neve, let's get back to you and your career, right? Because we just talked about some of the different uh, positions that you've played because I've been doing a bit of research, all right? Before the show, I came across this mm. photo. You are worried what photo yeah. it's going to be. Uh. Uh, a young <laughs> Neve Charles in goal. Talk us through this because I hear that you wanted to uh, be a goalkeeper as well. Yeah, <laughs> I love playing in goal. I mean... Looking at that, like I just remember my dad shouting, "Stop wrecking the garden!" I was gonna say, "Look at the mud," because <laughs> the grass is a mess. But yeah, as a kid, I just loved diving around. But I've actually never played in goal because my mum never wanted me to get hurt. Oh. Um, so yeah, um, I just loved diving around, and I thought I was really professional with their massive gloves on. Like they don't fit me at all. <laughs> Um, all them footballs where you're yeah. making all your mates footballs. <laughs> Honestly, and my dad for a while just kept them in a massive bag in the garage, just think, and they're all pretty trashed. Oh. <laughs> so when you watch Mary, Hannah, Ellie, like diving around now, do you have any regrets? Well, I think I would love to do a goalkeeper session just to experience it. And actually, the other day in training, Zell was proper, like swinging the ball in and I was trying to be a keeper and honestly I got lobbed so many times so oh, it gives you an appreciation that, for what they do yeah <laughs> hopefully we'll get some footage of it all right but whilst we're on the subject of a young Neve Charles okay we've got a little gift for you that's what it's all about when you come to a Lionesses down under all the way from West Kirby Wasps oh. all right this is for you this is a shirt from your grassroots club. Oh. We had to make sure the number was on there as well. They wanted to give you a little memento, right? So that's oh, for you. That's you can so keep cute. that. And they wanted to show their support of, um, and show how proud they are as well. I mean, when you see that shirt, when you see that they wanted to give you that to you, how does that make you feel? Yeah, this is really special because I actually still have my shirts from when I was younger. Aww. So like I kept a few of them and like this obviously it's really bright orange. And yeah. <laughs> they're just special for me like I just and they're all so tiny but yeah, I've kept a few from when I was younger so it's really nice to get this updated one now. Oh, is yeah. there any specific memories from when that shirt and big question, did you ever go in goal? Never. Look at I was that. never Oh, yeah, see so all the a few of these I'm still in good contact with as well and I think yeah, I just have, this was actually a really special day. Whenever you win as a tournament, you think it's the best thing in the world. Like yeah. just getting, I don't even think that was the main trophy. You know, when you get knocked out and go into the, well, the, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, the yeah, second yeah, round. Yeah, I've been there, believe me. But it still counts when you're a kid. But I think, I just remember my first time when I was at the club, my first coach was called Norman and I was petrified of him clinging onto my dad's leg. But then once I got into it, like I never looked back and that's just, I still speak to him now. It's just a special memory of who would have thought that one session all of this would have happened and yeah I go back now and the girls set up they've got is unbelievable now it is and it's funny you say that alright because not only do we have that picture or this we also had this good luck message from the West Kirby Comets good luck from West Kirby Comets Oh, Aww. when you see things like that, obviously looking at that picture of you, the only girl in that team, and then seeing the girls set up that they've yeah. got now, that must make you really proud. Yeah, it does. And I think I wouldn't have changed what I, the journey I had. But yeah, I think for the girls now that they can just go to the local club and play and everyone's really passionate about it. And hopefully the talent pool is going to get so much bigger. And also I remember the amazing memories I had. So for them to have it as well is really special. Yeah. And it's funny that you mentioned uh, Norman because we actually got an email from him, <laughs> all right. We always try and get him up on the screen, but technology wasn't the best, yeah. all right. But he did get an email across to us, all right. So your old coach uh, said that he's proud of you um, and he's still got sore ankles from when you used to uh, tackle him <laughs> as well. I mean, it must be nice for you to hear. And obviously, he's had a big impact on your mm -hmm. career and especially at that grassroots level mm -hmm. and hearing from him and how proud he is. How's yeah. that you feel? I think it's really special, like, for them, maybe it's really nice to see me, but to go back and see them, it's, it holds a really special place in my heart. So, yeah, that's lovely. And, yeah, they really started my love for sort of football. And, yeah, he says about the ankles, he'd give it out and I'd give it back for sure. <laughs> so your coach was kicking, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I can just see the headlines. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, all right. it's just a fun way. It's all good. You're here, you're alive this now, yeah. so it's all right. Uh, we have been asking people to get in touch. We did that on Instagram. Um, and we love to hear from you guys at home as well. Keep on using that hashtag Lionesses Down Under. Get those questions, questions, 
questions mm. and those messages of support across for Neve. Jill, we've already got a few in. Take it away. Yes, we do. So many questions coming in. So Casey wants to know who would be the worst teammate to be stuck in a lift with? Oh. Who would be the. Mm, it's a difficult question. Yeah. I would say, I mean, I would probably say Lauren Hemp. Just because she'd probably be like, oh, what are we going to do? Or, to be fair, the other day, actually, it was to me and Toonie got locked in the kit room. Did you? Yeah. Just, we went in and she went, Neve, the door was locked. So, and we would be screwed, like we couldn't get out. So oh. th those two, I reckon, would be stuck in for a long time. Yeah, okay. it's a good answer. Another Neve on Insta. Mm. Did you ask yourself a question? <laughs> Let's see what it is first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you could steal one quality from three of your teammates, mm. so three different teammates, what would they be and who would they be from? Obviously, if I was still in the squad, you'd go for my looks. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or maybe that little skill you've got where you do the forward roll, that always came out everywhere. <laughs> we'll keep that for another time. I know you want to see that one. <laughs> um, I think I'd probably have LJ's LJ-ness. Yes. Just the, her dribbling ability and she keeps the ball in, yeah, ridiculous situations. Um, I'd probably have... Lucy's engine, I think she's just up and down, never gets tired. Yeah. Um, and probably Hempo's speed. Oh, what a player that would be. I know, unbelievable. What a player. Right, Anna asks, which lioness brings the best snacks? Um, snacks as in maybe a little cheat, I reckon. Well, we all do, to be honest, but I know that if I ever need a pick-me-up, I'll probably go to Beth England. I think she's... Yeah. Yeah, she just... I'm sure you remember, she just knows that sometimes you just need a pick-me-up and there's nothing better than a bit of chocolate here and there. Yeah, Beth England always has, you know, the little cordial... Oh, yeah. really? So whenever oh, we used to squeeze. have water, we'd be like, can we have a little, yeah. little squeeze? And you'd go to our room and she'd just squeeze it in. And she'd always bring the, um, what is it before the game, the squashies. Everyone has a yeah, squashie before yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Molly wants to know, this is a bit of a controversial question, who is better at table tennis, oh, you God. or Hempo? Oh, this has been going around so much. Oh, we know, we I've heard it from her yesterday. Hate, yeah. actually. But I, I, I would say, I mean, Lauren's played all her youth. I've never played before. This is what I'm saying. I'm Excuses. just starting my career. Excuses. Already getting but them I in think now. my rate of development... My potential's probably above okay. Lauren. So I'm going to back myself because no one else is. Can we get some behind-the-scenes footage of you playing and actually like going against head-to-head yeah. -head with each other? Yeah, and the that winner? has got to happen okay. for sure. Neve, I've got a question just for me. So Jill wrote a message on Instagram, <laughs> but obviously you and Hembo are always attached to each other's <laughs> hips. But I feel like the crew's grown a little bit this trip. Am I right? Yeah, it has. And yeah, me and Lauren are literally attached at the hip, bus, bus partners, whatever, <laughs> breakfast partner, everything. Uh, but it has grown a little bit. And obviously, I know Kumi from Liverpool we, yeah. from years ago. So it's really nice to spend time with her now. So, And obviously, City teammates as well. So, I mean, they're really good friends as well. And yeah, Esme and everyone. So, yeah, it has grown a little bit. But me and Lauren are still bus partners. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. It's it really is. Lovely. So I feel like... Um, now we're going on to the fans' questions. We right? are, yes. yeah. So well, actually, so many questions there are. Here. And now, Jill, we've got something for you, which I'm, uh, mm. I've been looking uh. forward to this one, all right, because we actually asked my England football members to vote on a little challenge, all right? And let me tell you, they did that in numbers because we'd like to take on um, a Jill's challenge, all right? There was three options. Listen to these, all right, we put to the Number one... The Australian Animal Challenge. Can Jill learn the calls of local wildlife mm. and oh replicate God. them on the show? Confident about that? I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Number two, this is the one that I wish. Oh, please. Frog in the Pond Challenge, mm. okay? How many chocolate frogs can Jill get out of the jelly cups in 30 seconds without using her hands? Feeling confident about that? No, and I'm meant to be healthy eating. Why is this all me? I don't know. That's what the fans wanted, all right? <laughs> this is what they want, OK? Or number three, Stadium Memory Challenge. Can Jill memorise details from all of the stadiums being used across the tournament? Definitely not. I have the worst memory. Like, I even forget, like, people's names, but James, carry on. <laughs> all right. Uh, that was good. That was good. What would you have voted for, Neve? 
Um, which one? Yeah, which of those three challenges? I mean, I would have loved to watch the the middle one with the getting them out without your hands. I think that would be really that yeah. would be good. That would be good. All right. Well, the results are in. Okay, and I can reveal that fifty nine percent of the England fans wanted Jill to do the Australian Animal oh, Challenge. No. So five animals. All right. We're going to get you to replicate them. How are you feeling about that? Is a dog one just like <laughs> woof woof? No, no, no. Okay, after the show, Jill, we'll give you five animals that are uh, native to Australia. All right, so you can already think what <laughs> those might be. And on tomorrow's show, you're going to have to replicate each of those. All right, so you feeling good? I love this show. I actually <laughs> love this show. Okay, Neve. Whilst I start wondering why I even signed up for this, can you answer one more question mm -hmm. for us, please? Brilliant. Well, we've got uh, your teammates to ask it, and Serena. Let's put a question in there, but they're all anonymous, okay? So you've got to no choose way. one of these. All right, you won't know who it's from. You can choose anyone, open it, and you can answer that question for us. Oh. So uh, let's see what it is. One's actually a really big giveaway, like a $200 coffee voucher. Are you lying? Yes, well. yes, she is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what does the question say? Who would you pick to play you in a movie of your life? Oh, oh, we had we this, had this. Um, Lucy, didn't Lucy, we? Lucy, yeah. Was that, that was a one that came in from Instagram, though, that time. I'd yeah. said um, Angelina Jolie uh, for Lucy Bronze. So, oh, that's a good one. And she agreed with me. We actually run the same wavelength. So what, what about yourself? Um, who would I pick? God, I'm not... I don't even know who. Can you think of one for her? Oh, let me think right now. Um, oh, oh, uh, Jodie Comer? Uh, from Liverpool. From Liverpool, yeah. there you go. Yeah. All right. Even though she's great at accents, so you'd actually oh, she never the, know yeah. that she's from Liverpool. Would, would yeah. you be happy with that? Yeah, I'd be buzzing with that. <laughs> we'll take, take that. that one. There we go. Right, Neve, I know you've played in some massive games throughout your career already, but are you ready to take on the biggest challenge? Yeah, I'm, if it's with that leaderboard, yeah. It yeah. is indeed. Are you ready? Yeah. Dum, dum, dum. Neve's going to take on the tower. Yes. Now, whilst you get in the zone and get ready, you're already stretching <laughs> yeah. and getting ready to go over there. Here's a reminder of how you take on the tower. The player will have 30 seconds to carefully remove blocks and place them on top of the tower. The more blocks you move, the taller the tower and the more points you score. Five points are awarded for each complete level built during the 30 seconds. Look out for the special golden blocks hidden in the tower that are worth an extra 10 points if you can stack them in time. But be very careful, because if you tumble, the tower will tumble and you'll score zero points. So Lionesses, are you ready to face the tower? Nave. So you have 30 seconds to build the tower as high as you can using two blocks, okay? Okay. Two blocks. If you want to stop at any point because you think it's going to tumble, just say freeze. But we always say that's so boring. No one wants to do that. Has anyone not like knocked it down yet? Not yet. Oh, not so yet. Not, don't be the first. No <laughs> pressure. But if you get a complete level, you get five points. Mm -hmm. If you get a golden block, Okay, you get 10 points per golden block, all right? So for each level, if you had two golden blocks oh, in these, there, you could, these um, shiny ones, yeah. there you go, all See right? So uh, look but it out. it looks kind of, oh, because it's reflected. Yeah. yeah. There we are, all right. Let's look at the leaderboard. You've already been uh, eyeing it up, I've seen. So Lauren James, right at the very top of it, okay? 105 centimetres, 35 points. She got the gold ones. Um, Ellie Roebuck, 105 centimetres. 30 points, all right. You don't want to do a Rachel Daly, all right. I'm sorry, Rachel. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am sorry. 101 centimetres, but only 20 points. Get the golden blocks, all right. Yeah. That is what you want. Feeling confident? Um, yes. Don't sound <laughs> it. Don't so sound it confident. at all, all right. Let's get 30 seconds on the clock, please. Jill, three, three two, two, one, go. go. Right, oh, right, for the gold one. We're not making it easy. Yeah. Okay, nice. There you are. You can also take the edge ones as well. Come on. Okay. Come on. What are you? There we are. All right, so you've got 10 points. You've done one block. Keep on going. 20 seconds to go. 
Oh, you got yourself 15 one. points on the get to roll the ones. There oh we go. My God, Two at a time. Wow. All right, okay. Um, so oh, 25 points. You're nearly there. Let's go for wow. It. Go on, Nate. Okay, get come one. on. All right, five, four. Another golden one. Two. Oh, get them up. Oh, oh my God. Wait a minute. Okay, all right. Well, it started here. Okay, so you've got 10 points, 15, uh, 25. 35, yes. 45 <laughs> points. What height is it, so Jill? We've 105, and then we've got 109, and then 113. Woo! Charles. <laughs> wow. wow, that puts you on the top of the leaderboard. Jill, you can uh, yeah, write that on there. You've absolutely smashed it. Talk to me through your technique because A, you went for a, a bottom one, yeah. which no one's done, but the two at a time. Yeah, there might be a flaw in the system. Is that cheating with the two at the time? No, well, it's in the rules, all right? You've got to find ways to do it. It stayed up as well. How many points? Uh, you got a, a 45. 45? 45. Oh. Feeling good about that? Yeah, buzzing. Wow, that is actually incredible. It really well is. Well done, Neve. Thank well you, done. I feel very proud. Amazing stuff. Now, here on Lioness is Down Under, you never leave empty-handed, do you, Jill? So, we thought you were phenomenal. Phenomenal. <laughs> we have lovely fans Thank you. you. Right, uh, again, on that point, I think it's time just to uh, move on, all right, after that pun right there. Uh, Neve, you've been brilliant. Thank you so much for joining us on Lionesses Down Under, connected by EE. -E. A huge thank you for stopping by. Everyone in the studio, round of applause. <laughs> and we will be seeing you on Friday. Can I reveal? Because you always get me in trouble. I do, but it's your job now. You, you don't care about the rules. You put it out okay. there, Jill. So we have Beth England. Is she going to beat that? I don't think so. I don't know either. Also, Jill will be uh, taking on her challenge. That's the thing I'm most looking forward to. <laughs> Wait for those animal noises. Let's see if we can make you go viral. Uh, oh. With some of those, all right. You can find us at 12.30 on Friday on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter and TikTok. And we'll see you there. I guess that's all that left to say is toodaloo, kangaroo. <laughs> Ha ha ha!